ask everyone to put in their dictaphones down. Just a reminder, first of all, the microphone should please raise your hand if you do want to ask a question. We'll get a microphone to you. In terms of the public announcements that were made during the game after the allegation of racism, it's one incident that's being investigated. Part of the protocol at stage one is regular public announcements, and that was why there was more than one after the uh, incident was reported, OK? Just in case there's any doubt about that. If any question... We, we, that's what we told it. That's what we were told it was. If you want to have a conversation afterwards, we can. I don't think you should call me out in front of everyone. Anyway, there's a, there's, there's a statement coming from the club, so we'll follow that up. Who would like the first question? Please raise your hand. Yep, we'll start with Sam. Thank you. Jose, can could you give your reaction to to the the, the, the alleged incident that happened, please? To the alleged incident, I think you, your the racism, to the racist allegation of racism. No, I'm. I'm in the game, I'm focused in the game, I'm too far from the area where it looks like the incident happened. I have not much to say apart of, of saying that it's something that sets me. Uh, I hate racism in society, I hate racism in, in football. I'm disappointed that uh, things like, like that uh, still can happen. But the referee stopped the game, he spoke with the players, spoke with the captains, spoke with the coaches. Uh, I was losing, I don't want the game to be stopped, but immediately when I knew the reason why the game was stopped, I obviously understood and accepted it. And I think also the club is a very proud club in this kind of, uh, of situations, and the club also internally will try uh, to deal with it. Okay, take a question from Paul down here. Um, Jose, it was very unusual to see a midfield of uh, one of your teams um, so controlled in the first half. You know, Chelsea were dominant, controlled the ball. What, what happened in that first half to, to give you so many problems in the game? They were better than us in the first half. Uh, not difficult for me to, to, uh, to admit it. They played um, in a system where uh, they are very comfortable with a system where they play for two years with Antonio Conte, a system where uh, lots of their players are very comfortable. Uh, Marcos Alonso, Aspilicueta, Kante, William, players very comfortable in, in this system. And uh, they create these problems in the first half, not problems of, uh, of clear uh, scoring situations, but problems, like you say, with the control they had with the game. So the game was basically in our half, in spite of them not creating a lot. Uh, the game was in, in our half. Uh, but in the end, you are right, and easy for me to admit, they were superior. But then you look to the goals, and the goals are not a consequence of any superiority. The goal is a short corner with a big mistake, because we know how to defend short corners, we train how to defend short corners, and the players involved in the short corner uh, solution, they were not focused. So you, you, you can see the goal in a, in a short corner, you can see the goal in a penalty. So the goals didn't come on that superiority. Uh, the goals come on mistakes. Then in the second half we change. We felt that we changed, that we needed to we needed to change, and we had much more control, and we were in our best period of uh, of the game. And one goal would obviously change emotionally the game because the game uh, on the pitch was already changed. Uh, the first half was in our half, and these first 15, 20 minutes of the second half were much more in their half. The game changed. And we were uh, looking for a, for a goal. And instead of a goal, come a red card. And then the game, obviously, is easier for them to control. Players technically good, one player more, and then was was more difficult. OK, is there any more questions? Just raise your hand. Alistair down the front. And then we'll go with two more after that. Jose, what did you make of the red card incident? For me, it's not a red card. Uh, I think if we go to every person in this room, some will say yes and some will say no. And that's not the, um, the essence of the VAR. The essence of the VAR, the initial protocol of the VAR, I was involved in that 
in the beginnings, in UEFA meetings and this kind of things, the VAR is for the penalty of the first half. A clear and obvious mistake. 65,000 persons in the, in the stadium, they look to the screen and they know it's a penalty. For me, that's the VAR. When you have that situation with Son and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Rudiger, uh, is not a clear and obvious mistake by the referee. I think the mistake of the referee in that action is not to give a yellow card to Rudiger. Uh, because the way he falls Son, that is the clear mistake. But the, the VAR didn't say that. Then the VAR goes to the Sony situation, which for me uh, is not. I admit, if you say in your opinion, yes, and probably this young lady will say no, and probably our friend will say yes, but that's not the VAR. So for me, really, really bad, and, uh, and basically, kills, basically kills the game. Do you think the slow motion makes things look worse? You know, it's, it's the slow motion, is the angles, is everything. But uh, I was in the middle of being sad with the result, I still had time and mood to, to have a little joke in, in the flash interview. Rudiger, for sure, is having scans in the hospital on broken ribs because it was really a violent, a violent situation. In, uh, in, in, uh, in some countries like mine, for example, with our cultures, we used to say clever player, but in this country, and one of the reasons why I fell in love with this country in 2004 is because we don't call them clever. We call them other things that I refuse to, to call. Okay, finish with the last one from Jerry, please. Jose, just for clarity, when, when Anthony Taylor came over to you and Frank on the sideline, did he suggest the game could be called off or did he no, offer No, 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 no. I, I didn't even know what was going on. Um, I saw during the game Anthony speaking, in my opinion, too much with players. Even on a, a, a situation that would sooner or later Ended in a penalty for us. Uh, he was speaking to players all the time. Uh, players grabbing Kane, players grabbing Dele Alli in corners, in lateral free kicks. He was speaking too much. So when I saw him speaking with players and stopping the game, I thought it was one more uh, teacher talk. Uh, but then when he came to me and, and to Frank and he was telling what it was, it's very disappointing. and. Uh, you have to agree with every decision that the referee makes, stopping the game, send everybody home. Um, I have no control on that, but in that moment, I think everybody's together because, uh, you know, racism is, is a sad thing in society, is a sad thing in, in football, and, uh, and still happens. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you.